All right, everyone. This is going to be an unboxing of the Q Honey Badger barrel assembly, as well as the uh, six inch handguard to the Honey Badger. I also picked up a uh, taper adapter because I will be putting a, uh, a dead air micro brake on it. Uh, so you need this to make the uh, muzzle brake work with this barrel since it has that Q taper. Looks like this is the handguard kit. So let's open this up. In case you guys are curious, this is what it looks like. No fancy box. And it is important to mention that this is the uh, complete handguard kit. Uh, so it comes with their barrel nut as well as the, uh, the mounting system. Super lightweight, by the way. <laughs> Holding these three is a lot lighter than I expected. So this is that six inch handguard with the uh, clear anodized 6061 aluminum. Super cool finish, it's like a gray almost and extremely lightweight. Looks pretty cool. Now let's take a look at the barrel assembly. Uh, this is what that box looks like. Honey Badger 300 Blackout 7 inch. This is the one and five twist rate. So a fast, uh, fast twist rate barrel. There we go. Looks like it has a little thread protector here. Here is the uh, adjustable gas block. And it looks like it's already uh, screwed. Actually, no, it's not tightened down. So let's take a look. There we go. Got the Q 300 blackout one and five twist. <laughs> That's a cool little logo there. Um, this is what the um, adjustable gas blocks gas block looks like. Yeah, pretty cool. And I like this little uh, that little notch right there. So you can just line up the adjustable gas block with that little notch right there. And that just, I guess, aligns perfectly with the gas port on the barrel. That's pretty cool. This is what the uh, gas block barrel nut looks like. Tells you 36, uh, sorry, I've got 36 foot pounds. 35. Let's take a look at this guy. So this little taper adapter, I'm not sure if you can tell on camera, but it, you can definitely see like a little taper right there. And the idea by, behind this is to line up this taper here. Um, yeah so that you can just put a regular uh, muzzle device on the end of that if you want to time it or shim it. So that'll be cool. In case you guys are curious, let's also take a look at this, uh, this barrel nut, which I believe is also uh, clear anodized. So it's got that uh, honey badger receiver look to it. 
which is pretty cool. Very lightweight, extremely lightweight actually. You got the flats for your wrench there, pretty cool. All right, now to just get an idea of what the uh, Q barrel and handguard will look like on just like an upper, um, I have an Aero Precision M4E1 no forward assist upper over here um, that I, I do plan on clear anodizing this um, just to kind of, I guess, clone the Honey Badger look. Um, and I'll, I have a lower that I'll throw this onto. So I'm just gonna uh, assemble everything, throw it on the lower, uh, just so we can see what it looks like. All right, so this is what the upper looks like. Let's go ahead and throw this on the lower. All right, so this is what it looks like on the uh, installed on the upper, just kind of dry fitted and um, threw it on the lower. I like it. Very small, <laughs> compact package, obviously with the seven inch barrel. Um, I think it looks pretty sweet. Um, hopefully you guys, you know, enjoyed watching this. I myself was curious to kind of see what this all looks like on an upper and lower. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing and assembly video. Um, give the video a like and uh, follow for future updates on this build. Thank you.